In this video, I'm going to talk about four different sales that I made on Shutterstock that surprised even me. What's up guys? This is Nicole Glass. Welcome back to my channel. And I am back with another Shutterstock video. And in today's unscripted video, I'm just going to talk about four different photo and video sales that I made on Shutterstock that really blew my mind, where I really thought to myself, wow, is this real life? And for these types of sales, there is probably not a whole lot of strategy behind them. A lot of this was probably pure luck, but I can talk a little bit about why I think they were downloaded, but I don't have confirmation on why that might be. And be sure to stick around till the end of the video because the last point is going to be my top selling piece of content on Shutterstock ever for a single download. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first photo I'm going to talk about is this photo that I recently uploaded, like within the last couple of weeks, of dryer sheets in my laundry room. Sometimes I take random photos of things because I've had pretty good luck with them being downloaded on Shutterstock, and other times it's just like a good experiment. Especially since I like to talk about photos being downloaded here and what works, I sometimes put up all sorts of content just to see what will work. So it also gives me like a little bit more data when I'm analyzing what works and what doesn't work. So as I was doing my laundry a couple of weeks ago, I brought my camera down into the laundry room. I actually took some photos of the laundry being done and the whole process of doing laundry. And actually a bunch of those photos did sell already, like almost immediately after I posted them. But this one photo of the dryer sheets was downloaded for, hold on, let me check, 12.96. Now, most of the time, my photos don't get downloaded for $12.96. That's actually kind of a random number. I don't know why I got that much, but hey, it paid back what I paid on the laundry. My laundry is not free and making $12.96 off of the photo of the dryer sheets was pretty nice. In fact, I could do a couple of loads of laundry with that. So thank you Shutterstock for funding my laundry budget. Very much appreciated. Okay, so I just looked this up right now. When you type in dryer sheets laundry on Shutterstock, there's only two pages of search results. Two. I guess other people have not uploaded photos of dryer sheets. And most of these photos are not even photos of dryer sheets. They're just photos of sheets or dryers. So even after one download, my photo of the fabric softer dryer sheets is now on the first page. Not bad. I wonder how many of you are gonna copy me now. Okay, so the next photo is a little bit embarrassing, but this is actually the photo that has earned me the most money ever on a single download. And this actually just happened last week and I was pretty shocked because this is a photo of my toe. Now, I don't know if other people do this, but I've definitely photographed body parts of mine and sold them on Shutterstock, especially if there's something a little weird or quirky about it, you know? If you have an injury or something like that, like you can monetize on your own injury because medical journals need to find photos too, right? I mean, I actually don't know where these photos are being used, but I suspect medical journals. So anyway, the photo of my toe was downloaded last week for $101. That's how much I got. I have no idea how much the client paid for it. I didn't even know you could get $101 for a single photo download, but apparently you can. But why my toe? Why not somebody else's toe? Like, why is my toe photo special? Well, I don't actually want to blow this photo up on the screen here because it's a little bit embarrassing, but you know when you wear heels for a long period of time and your toe becomes kind of like, it suffers to say the least. Your toe suffers after wearing heels and my toe definitely suffered. So I took a picture of my poor toe, which was in pain. I'm not gonna go into details. And that picture made me $101, kind of crazy. But yeah, when you're uploading things like that, like feet and hands and toes, probably if you just have pretty feet or pretty hands or pretty toes, those are probably not gonna be downloaded because there's a lot of that already. But if there's some sort of like injury or like maybe you have a really crooked toe or something that makes your body part unique, then perhaps it will have some value to some medical journal, medical website, or maybe even a medical book. So if anyone finds this horrible picture of my toe out there somewhere in the world, let me know. But I really hope you don't. So the next set of photos we're gonna look at are interesting because, well, because they're not actually that special. But I woke up one morning and made over $218 
off of these seven photo downloads. It's nice when you wake up and you see that in your earnings. So basically a couple of weeks before these downloads happened, I visited a town called Harper's Ferry. For those of you who live on the East Coast of the United States, you might have heard of Harper's Ferry. It's a cute little town in the mountains. It's got a lot of history to it. And I just took some really random photos of things. And I had a couple of photos of this town up on Shutterstock already. And I'm telling you these photos were not my top photos in terms of quality. They were not very special. I was there on overcast days and rainy days. I, I didn't really have like those beautiful landscape shots. They were just photos. And somebody downloaded seven of them all in the same day for 31.22 each, which brought the total to more than $218. I don't know what they were used for, but it's pretty cool that all seven were downloaded in one day. This was probably a little bit of luck because there are a lot of photos of Harbors Ferry on Shutterstock already. Not as much as a city like Washington DC or anything, but enough that a buyer would have lots to choose from. And perhaps this buyer downloaded hundreds of them and my seven photos were part of those hundred downloads. I really don't know. All I know is that there was a batch of them downloaded and I woke up with a smile on my face. And the next piece of content we're gonna look at is actually a video. As some of you may know, video sales account for most of my earnings, even though I only have very few videos on Shutterstock, compared to my photos anyway. But the earnings on videos are just so much higher. So in January, I got a video download in which I earned $180. And honestly, I didn't know you could earn $180 from a single download. And that's great and all, but this video is so random. It's a drone shot of a Fairfield Inn, which is owned by Marriott Hotels, and I just kind of panned up the hotel. I don't even know why I filmed this. I think I was just practicing like different settings on my drone, and I was practicing in that area. And since I had those clips, I just threw them up on Shutterstock. And this video was only downloaded one time, one year after I uploaded it, for $180. But why? I can't tell you why, but I'm guessing that there's probably not other videos of the Fairfield Inn Hotel on Shutterstock. But let's check, let's see. Okay, so there are some photos. Yep, my video is the only video on Shutterstock of the Fairfield Inn. Who knows, maybe even the Fairfield Inn themselves downloaded this video. It's just full of mystery. So all four of these examples are totally unexpected and surprised even me. I wasn't surprised that they got downloaded necessarily, but I was surprised that they got downloaded for so much. But in most of these cases, what they have in common is that there was a little bit of uniqueness to them. The dryer sheets, there's almost no photos of dryer sheets on Shutterstock. The Fairfield Inn, I had the only video of the Fairfield Inn on Shutterstock. My toe, well, <laughs> Well, that's a weird one. Maybe my toe is special. The condition of my toe was pretty rare, I guess. No, it was, I checked. There's not a lot of those types of photos. And the Harper's Ferry photos, that I think was probably luck. But overall, if you can put photos up there where you're one of very few people covering that topic, go for it. It doesn't hurt. Another photo of mine that does exceptionally well is like a photo of a Lysol bottle in CVS. There's probably not a lot of competing photos in that category either. So question of the day, what is the weirdest photo that you've ever had downloaded from a stock photography platform that you're on? Let me know in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed diving into these weird and unexpected photography sales with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.